It's a heavyweight hog smasher. We got Tom Aspinall taking on the pit bull, Andre Arlovsky. If you're new here, he's Meat. I'm Boy. We're Meat Boy MMA, and our goal is simply to bring juicy locks and some laughs along the way. So we're trying to hit 260 subs before UFC 260 coming up. So grill that sub button on your way out if you like these breakdowns. But I'm excited for this uh, how good are you really matchup for Tom Aspinall as he takes on the pit bull, Andre Arlovsky. Liverpool's Aspinall is a dude with some heavy and precise shots that have been absolutely flatlining dudes. He's got nine wins, all by finish, and two of them coming in the UFC. Uh, most recently, he smoked Alan Booty Dude in 90 seconds, and before that, smoked Jake Collier in 45. His opponent, though, Andre Arlovsky, speaking of nearly 45, is definitely not Jake Collier, and he's definitely not Alan Badeau. He's the former UFC heavyweight champ. And even in his 40s, is proving time and time and again that he can still hang with anyone in the UFC. And even in the downturn of his career, he hasn't shown any cardio issues to date. Uh, he's always been a guy that wins a lot of decisions. And that's usually the case today when Arlovsky's picking up um, wins that are usually kind of ugly but effective nonetheless. Uh, in his last fight against Tanner Bozer, he was a decent underdog. And it seemed like the moment was just too big for Tanner in that one, who was coming in with a lot of hype. And... In this fight, it's kind of a similar setup with another hyped-up young gun. The Pitbull is susceptible, however, to being KO'd, and Tom Aspinall is someone who can KO you. Do you think this is a levels test where Andre Arlovsky, uh, in an ugly way, decisions a win over Tom Aspinall, or do you like Tom to smoke the Pitbull? Yeah, no, this is a this is a great fight. Uh, honestly, for both of them, uh, for Arlovsky to say, "Hey, I'm not old. I'm still here. I can do this." And then you have Tom, you know, about to take out a, a you know a legend. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna have to go with Tom. You know, I like I like the young up and comer fighter. You know, he's 27. This guy, like you said, he can drop people, and Arlovsky can be dropped. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Arlovsky maybe you know grizzles through this was that experience but i think this kid is strong powerful gonna get a job done Pro honestly i would say first round tko yeah you mentioned him getting dropped and i don't know for some reason i just have a flashback to the absolute classic movie from 2018 the equalizer 2 when uh denzel washington absolutely dropped the pit bull in the opening scene of that movie so i'm kind of with you i think tom's gonna pull a denzel uh, i think he's going to absolutely flatline arlovsky I don't see this going beyond two rounds. Um, if it does somehow manage to go longer than two rounds, then I might get a little bit nervous because Arlovsky just is one of those dudes who never quits. But uh, I see the power being way too much uh, from Tom Aspinall, and uh, Arlovsky's just not going to be able to, have to. His chin's not going to hold up against a guy like Tom. So uh, looks like uh, minus two forty-five favor for Tom Aspinall, plus two hundred five for the pit bull. And 74% over on Tapology is going with the Liverpool fighter, Tom Aspinall. The majority of it being Brown, I think he's going to get it done by KO. Do you agree with uh, Tapology? Do you think it's uh, for sure a KO? And uh, what round do you see Aspinall getting it done? Yeah, 100% agree. Uh, I'm very uh, bullish with the Tapology on being fully Brown. Um, and yeah, I think those odds are honestly kind of juicy for Tom. I, I would have thought, honestly, that they would have gave him a, a higher uh, favored mm -hmm. but uh it's really not that crazy and i i would just stay so far away from pitbull you just never know uh, he's on a two fight winning streak but he's he's he hasn't been looking the best from com when you compare him when he was champ yeah that's fair i mean he, he did look nice in his last in his last appearance but uh i'm with you i just don't know if it's going to be enough uh, against a guy like tom aspinall so uh, it's not this week's meat locker, but it's kind of a, a still in the freezer, sort of off the grill, low key meat lock, uh, if we're being truthful about it. So we're both going with Tom Aspinall on this one. Check out the other vids, meat boys.